Hello everyone in another episode of Construction in Sons of the Forest. Today I will show you how to build a spike defense wall. I will make a building 3x3. Three three, but you can make it as long as you want to fetch your property. By the way you will see how to build the corners of the building. And you will also be able to build houses with this construction. I invite you to watch. Use thanks to Kniter before down. Through our cooperation he has developed an excellent method of connecting these walls. And without him this video wouldn't exist. We start our first corner. Need to duplicate the beam twice. This is already behind us. Now we will extend the wall and build another corner. When building the first one it seems a bit complicated but it will be easier with the next ones. You will see.
We have the last corner left. What do you think? It's probably not so complicated that it would be impossible for you to build. Basis for building is ready. We can remove the unnecessary elements and start building walls. In my project, I will build a foundation here. But you don't have to do it. You can easily remove these beams after finishing the walls. We only need them to put and slot beam at a given point.
The direction of laying the boards does not matter much here. After removing them, they are always arranged with the bright parts towards to the inside of the building. Good advice, do not close the walls completely. Better leave a place at the bottom to put the beam because sometimes it bugs and you can't do it through the boards. A good example is this corner. You'll see how it works right away. <laughs> Removing one board at a time sometimes does not help. Then remove a few more and it will certainly be possible to put a beam in this place. This is how your house can look like inside. You just need to put a little work into it. And when you light it up, it will look great. Now I'm going to remove the boards and put them up in a different way to make a spike wall. Thank you. 
To remove the beams from the outside, we have to hit by the X two or three times. Looks cool. Now I will show you how to add sticks to the wall. It will probably be the best defensive spike wall. The great advantage of this wall is the possibility of shooting it through, and the fact that we can add sticks along the entire height of the wall.
I will show you here that we can give sticks all over the height. And then our enemies have no chance to break through. This is what a professional defense wall looks like. If the upcoming update doesn't change anything in this mechanics, it will be the best type of defense wall with the ability to observe the enemy. That would be all I wanted to show you in this video. Write in the comments what you think, and leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more news from construction. For today that's all. Thank you for watching and see you soon.